I know, Father. But you have to take this very seriously. I don't know why. I don't even know the nature of the trade you want to get yourself involved in. But the gods have spoken. They have made their points. I don't want you to ignore this message, Father. It's very important. Coming from you, messenger of the gods, the bearer of the sacred cowrie, then I will be a fool to ignore the message. I've heard what you said. Thank you very much, Father. You're welcome. I beg to be excused. I need to go back to what I was doing. Thank you for coming with the message. I sincerely appreciate it. Her mother was unable to leave to see her grow into a woman. She died when she turned a thin. I am still very marveled how the sacred cowrie has continued to grow with her. I still mourn your mother. But surely, you have become a perfect replacement. I love you, my child. The sacred one. The daughter of the gods. It is very brave of you to have summoned the courage to come to my house to make this request. Nay, huh? I love your daughter so much. Huh? I am prepared to do the right thing with her. Oh, oh, you've already done the right thing. You've already done the right thing by coming to my house. I wish young men of whom Medili will be like you. <sighs> Nine. Everyone is unique in his or her own way. Of course, of course. Please. I beg to take my leave. Oh, you want to go? But be rest assured that your visit will not be in vain. I just hope that Ijemma will not throw this opportunity away. We are offering you 50 bags of money, Your what? Highness. 50 bags of money? <laughs> Just to let you fish in our river. Exactly. Yes. No, no, no. Wait. Let me get this straight. Hmm? Men of Enugu Olona, hmm? you mean you are willing to pay a whooping sum of 50 bags of money? Yes. <laughs> Just for us to allow you to fish in our river. <laughs> Your Highness. Okay. Let me put it this way, Your Highness. All you need to do is to persuade your elder brother, the king, to issue a notice that men of Obunoago should no longer fish in that river. We want to secure the river for our entire business, fishing business, your highness. The entire river. Yes. Exactly, your highness. We are going to feed the fishes with special food that will make them to grow big, not only for our use, but for commercial purposes. <laughs> hmm, I see. So you are willing to pay 50 bags of money in return? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> well, my brothers, with 50 bags of money, Opunagu River, the entire river, is all yours. We have a Opunagu. We have a um, your Highness, are you saying your brother, the King, will not have a problem with this? <laughs> Leave my brother to me. Go home and relax. I will bring you good news. <laughs> okay, Your Highness. We will take you by your words. As soon as your brother, the King, gives his consent. Can you go for us, sir? Be rest assured that you will hear from me soon. Okay. <laughs> very well then. We shall be on our way. Thank you very much for your hospitality. If only you had accepted to drink some palm wine, then the hospitality would have been complete. 
Your Highness, <coughs> you see, we did not accept the Pan One because uh, we were not sure if our mission here is going to be possible. <laughs> but now that it is possible, <laughs> Your Highness, be rest assured that next time we come, we shall all feast here. Yes. We'll be feasting here, Your Highness. <laughs> the deal is a deal. May the gods of our ancestors lead you back to Enugu. <laughs> Yes. Go in peace, my brother. Thank you, Highness. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, bravo. Yes. 50 thunderous bags of money? No. That's a lot of money. This cannot wait. Ibeque must hear this. You must be very insane to think that I will subscribe to that nonsense. So, Ibukwe, are you going to sit and watch 50 bags of money slip out of our fingers just because you want to protect Priva and some useless fishes? Now, let me remind you at home, in case you have forgotten so soon, that river is not only our source of water, it is also our source of livelihood. Our river is one of the largest water bodies in Olunipo. Have you ever stopped to ask yourself why men of Enugu Olona will travel all the way from their kingdom to ask for our river? Have you? Now let me warn you. That river is perhaps the greatest gift the gods of this land, Chukokike, has given to these people. And it will be an abomination to stop our people fishing in their own river. I will not even give that river away for 100 bags of money. I will not! Ibeque, let me ask you. Since you became king, what have you achieved for this kingdom? How dare you? How dare you ask me such a question? No, Ibeque! The truth they say, it's bitter, isn't it? Yes, what have you achieved for this kingdom? Tell me what have you achieved? If you're not busy making unnecessary peace, you are busy giving away the little resources our father left for us to hunt his army. Lazy villagers. Now that you have been offered a chance to become the richest in this kingdom and beyond, now you are here talking about you could. You dare call my efforts at bringing peace and tranquility into this kingdom unnecessary? Has it gotten to this account? Has it? Yes, Ibeque. It has gotten to this. And more will come. Now let me warn you for the last time. Go back to the men of Enugolona. Tell them that even if they end up offering their hearts and kidneys on a plate, I will not give my consent. Now get out of my palace before I do something that both of us will regret for the rest of our lives. Get out! Ibeque, did I hear you say I should get out of the oh, palace? Oh yes, you heard me loud and clear. <laughs> Big brother, in case you have forgotten, this palace was built by our father and not you. So I have equal rights. Get out. I said get out of this palace this minute. Then if you insist, I will. But I will be back when the time is right. Fifty bags of money, my foot. I will be back when the time is right. Go and come! And I will be waiting for you with the same answer. Go and come back! Father. My princess, there is nothing to worry about. All is well. It doesn't look that way. I heard voices. Pay no heed to Akum and his temper tantrums. He will come around soon enough. I don't think you saw the look on his face when he stepped out of here. What is he going to do? Kill someone? Certainly not. My daughter, please, 
tell me about your day. How did your day go? You look exceptionally beautiful today. Father, you are changing the topic. I am not changing the topic. Just that it doesn't deserve the attention you're giving to it. Like I told you, there is nothing to worry about. All is well. I am your father. Take me by my words. Now let's discuss more face-lifting matters. I personally don't like it when you frown. And you should know that the princess of this kingdom has no reason, no excuse whatsoever to be frowning. Father, I still cannot help but worry about it. You don't have to, my daughter. All is well, okay? All is well. Ma, I am not going to marry him. And I mean it. You will not marry him. I don't want to marry him. I won't allow you to marry him. I'm not going to marry him. What are you saying? You mean you will allow that fine, handsome man slip through your fingers? Is he the only young man in this village? Why are you so fixated on him? I don't want to marry him. He's marriage by force. Marriage is not by force. True. But have you told me you don't want to get married? Did you tell me you don't want to get married, Ijeoma? I never man? said that. There was never a time I said that, Papa. I did not say I don't want to get married. But you see this young man in particular, I do not love. I would not marry. And my answer is no. Ijeoma. And remain no. Ijeoma. A word is enough for the wise. I found them not even. I don't understand this. I don't understand why parents will always want to interfere in their children's marriages. We are the ones getting married, aren't we? Yet they end up putting themselves at the center of it all. It's not fair. The man has practically taken upon himself to make my personal life his own personal business. I don't get it. We are the ones that will live with this man. Exactly. Yes, so why impose on us the man to marry? I think it's about time we spoke up against this madness. Enough is enough. Spoke up against Yes. How? No. Are you suggesting we start up an open protest against our parents? No. Very far from that. In fact, I have a better option. My friend, whatever option it is you have, so long as it will work, I am all in for it. Because as I speak to you, I am more frustrated than the word frustration itself. Now that I think of it, we've always had power at our disposal, but we never thought of exercising it. Power at our disposal? Yes. I don't understand. Can you be clearer? Fine. The princess of Omedili Kingdom is our best friend, isn't she? Yes, she's our best friend. Oh! Now you're beginning to see things from my own point of view. I think it's about time we paid her a visit. Mm. You are very correct. Completely. I agree mm. with you. It's too much. That's by the way. I have a wine in the kitchen, spiced just the way you like it. Hey, hey mama. Mm. You know just how to cheer me up. Darling. What are friends for? Oi, I'll be right back. They say problem shared is half solved. Thank the gods I came to her. Men of Enugolona. Oh, hi, yes. I sent for you because I have news for you. Good news, I hope. Well, good and bad. Well, your highness, let's, let us hear the good news first. Exactly. Okay. The good news is that my brother has finally accepted your request. 
<laughs> oh, Google. <laughs> Fish him. The bad news is that he said 50 bags of money is not enough for a kingdom to give away a river. So he is now requesting for 100 bags of money. Gosh, of ancestors. Your Highness. Yeah. Your Highness. Did I, did, did, did I just hear you right? 100 bags of what? 100 bags of money. But then again, if I may ask, I would say you think about it. Your Highness. Because 100 bags of money is nothing to compare with what you stand to gain from Open Agro River. Your Highness, but that is a lot of money. Your Highness, it will cost our kingdom. It will cost our kingdom an arm to provide. You should be rejoicing that he finally agreed on 100 bags of money. Initially, he was insisting on 200 bags of money, but had to plead and plead again. Well, uh, uh, your, your Highness, I, I must tell you, I'm speechless. Yes, I am speechless. Well, Your Highness, I have to thank you for your effort. The most important thing that he has agreed. Your Highness, we have to be on our way now. As you already know, that uh, journey is far. But uh, nevertheless, you will hear from us. I shall be expecting your message. The sooner the better. Once again, thank you very much. You have a word on that, Your Highness. May the gods be with you as you go. You say. You say. Please, my princess. You have to help us. Before we lose it, my princess, please. You believe I have the power? Yes. How do you mean? Your father is a king. All we're asking is that you get him to make a decree that prevents parents from interfering with their children's marriages, at least to a certain degree. Exactly, my princess. We are speaking from experience. In fact, from my own point of view, parents shouldn't be imposing spouses on their daughters. We ladies must be allowed to make our own choices. Please. On a very serious note, this has become a big issue in our land. A serious one. Especially for us, the maidens. The fastest way to kill a maiden is by forcing her into marrying a man she does not love. My princess, you're a maiden like us. If you can get your father to make this declaration, you will also benefit from it. Uh, is something wrong? Not at all. Chukwo Kike has made everything beautiful for us. Just that most times, we focus on the wrong things instead of the right ones. Speaking of Can you at least make things clear to us? Do not worry, Ijema. For in due time, the gods will make everything clear to you. Me. Yes. You. I am lost. I do not understand. All I have to say is that a maiden's father is like a deity to her and must be allowed to have that deity figure over his child. For what he sees seated, you will not be able to see it even if someone shows it to you. Are you saying you're not going to grant our request? Listen. You might be exempted from all this because of your status in the society. But we the commoners are going through moments of agony. Please, get your father to make this declaration. Even if you do not support it, 
for our sakes. Do it. That will not be necessary, Ijema. For in truth, parents must be allowed to parent their children. All I have to say is that a maiden's father is like a deity to her and must be allowed to have that deity figure over his child. For what he sees seated, you will never be able to see it even if someone shows it to you. I'm happy that once again my eyes behold the sacred cowry. Our kingdom will continue to obtain favor from the gods. It is still the same as it has been from the days of old. Hold it as if you are holding cola nuts and ask the gods and ancestors for anything. It will be granted to you. Thanks for your ministration, as and why. I appreciate your coming. As you continue to serve as the priestess of this land, the gods and the ancestors of this kingdom will make your load slighter. Luck will always shine on you in everything you do. Your Highness, the first rain of the year has come and gone, which means it's time for the farmers of Umedili Kingdom to start tilling the ground. As it has now become the, the norm in our land. Considering the, the blessings that come with it, we have come to ask you to lead us in prayer on the sacred cowrie in blessing our land so that we can have successful farming season and fruitful harvest. I understand what you are saying. The importance of the prayer on the sacred cowrie. We have seen the good and we have equally seen the bad. Exactly. Good in the sense that we have seen how good our harvest will always turn out to be when we pray on the sacred cowry. And how bad, how poor it will always be when we ignore making the prayer. I am sorry that I wasn't the one that called for this. Reason being that my queen is not feeling fine. I would have loved that to be part of the prayers. But now that you are here with this request, I think the ideal thing for me to do is to go and bring the sacred cowry so that we can make the prayers without the queen. Uh, we are sorry, please, Your Majesty. We are sorry to hear this. Uh, since Owadife is attending to her, she will be fine. Just give me a few minutes. I'll be back with the sacred What? What? Where could it be? 
Needless to tell you why I summoned you here. I believe you have heard the news making the rounds. Tell me, who is that beast that had the gods to steal the sacred cow from the box of the gods? Who? Your Majesty, all is well. I beg your pardon? No, is this supposed to be an insult? How can you say this? The sacred cowrie is an instrument of the ancestors, handed down to us by our forefathers from generation to generation. As we speak, it remains the highest weapon any man can wear against his enemy. For any man who wears the sacred cowrie is in direct contact with the gods. And he knows exactly what his enemies are planning, even the move they are about to make. Umedli Kingdom has come to command not just the respect, but even the fear of other kingdoms around us. Do you know why? Because we remain the only land in Olunibo that has the sacred cowrie. Now the sacred cowrie has gone missing in my land, and you sit here before me to tell me that all is well? Onyeze, what happened is natural. It happens once in a while. Agreed. Your father did not tell you because it did not happen during his reign. But count yourself a lucky king that it happened during your reign. What can I, I am losing my patience with you. How can I count myself a lucky king when the sacred cowry is missing under my reign? What kind of luck is that? The gods have withdrawn the sacred cowry for fortification. Yes, Your Majesty, this is a sacred process. And this process is good for you. Monica, I, I have two questions for you. Number one, when will I get the sacred cowry back? Number two, why didn't they warn me about this all important process of fortification before withdrawing the second cowrie from the boss of the gods. Why? Oh yes. I can only plead with you. Do not question the gods. The ways of the gods are not the ways of men. As for how the cowrie will return. A special child will be born in Umedili. That child will come out of his or her mother's womb with a sacred cowrie strapped on his or her hand. The Majesty, that child shall be the messenger of the gods. If a male he will not be initiated into the masquerade court of Medele because he is already the spiritual head of the masquerade from birth. Okay. So what happens if the child is a female? If a female? Mm. Your Majesty, if a female, she will become a special daughter of the kingdom who can summon the king and the king must answer her. Mm. This woman can make decisions for the whole kingdom without consulting anybody. And whatever decision she makes, stands. Onyeze, I want you to listen carefully to what I am about to tell you because this is the climax of it all. I'm 
I'm listening. The sacred cow is going to be on a mission when it returns. A mission to restore sanity in a land that is joined with us in the spirit. Whoever is born with the sacred cowrie must be with it always. Your Majesty, the sacred cowrie will return to the box of the gods when its mission is completed. And the person, when he finally decides to take a wife or become a wife. So, what you are saying to me directly is that the sacred cowrie will be allowed to remain in the custody of the person? Onyeze, the sacred cowrie must be left with the child the way it is when the child was born. It must always be with the person. It will continue to grow with the child. Onyeze, everything will become clearer to you as the years unfold. Johannes, I heard the tank crier. Is there a problem? Why have we summoned all the pregnant women and their families? Is she? Eh? The gods have revealed how the missing sacred cowrie will be recovered. That is why I sent for everyone. Okay. It sounds so interesting, Your Highness. How will it be recovered? The gods have revealed, after my inquiries, okay. that a special side is coming into this kingdom. That side is going to come with the sacred cowrie because he or she will be born with it. Ah, Johannes, it's, 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 this, is, this is more complicated. How will a child be born with a cowrie? It may sound impossible, but that is the verdict of the gods. And we all have a duty to ensure that any woman in this kingdom who bears a child with a sacred cowrie must bring words to this palace immediately. That side is a special side that must be welcomed by everybody in our middle kingdom. Your Highness, honestly, this is confusing. The more reason I ask the town crier to go around the town and announce. Because I want every pregnant woman okay. in this kingdom, yes. the husbands of the pregnant women, even their family members. In fact, I want everyone to be present as I make the announcement. Okay. Well, whoever bears that child, that comes with the sacred cowrie must report immediately. And this must not be taken for granted. That mm. child is a messenger of the gods, mm. whether male or female. And we, whatever family that he or she comes from will be promoted in this kingdom to be one of the frontline families of the land. Indeed, the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. I was prepared to elevate that family to one of the leading families of this kingdom. And then, this special side comes from my family. My daughter has the power to make decisions for this kingdom. Decisions that nobody must disobey. But she has elected not to use her power. I owe everything to the gods for giving me such a special side. I can't wait for the day she will be married so I could retrieve the sacred cowrie from her. Your friends are gone now, I suppose? Yes, they have. Why were you eavesdropping, Father? You knew? You thought I wouldn't know? You temporarily forgot yourself at that time, I suppose? You see, you are that special one. And you have the right to give anything, any interpretation you like. I, I, I so much felt happy with what I heard. I mean, what you were telling your friends. 
you proved one more time that you are that gift of the gods to me. And here and now, I am asking you to make a request. Ask me anything you want me to do, and I swear on the staff of the kings that I will do it for you. Thank you very much, Father, but you don't need to do that. You don't owe me nothing. You are my father. I'm only a servant of the gods. I agree. But you must have to understand you are Princess Ifedisha of our Umedele Kingdom. You deserve the best, my dear. Father, being your daughter is the best thing that has ever happened to me. I am fulfilled. Are you aware that had it been you asked me to make that decree? You would have done it without any hesitation? But then again, I stand by the truth. I will never use my position to guard you into doing something that is not right. Your wisdom is of the gods. And I praise the gods for giving you such wisdom. Yeah. <laughs> Father, I made something very delicious for lunch. Just for you and me. And I want you to come with me. What did you prepare? It's a surprise. <laughs> Bags of money is a whole lot of money. Shh. You are your voice. I call all of us here because I want us to discuss privately. Want to shout? Um, wait, wait, wait a minute. Your Highness, are you saying that men of Enugu Olona are prepared to offer us a staggering sum of 30 bags of money just to get part of our river? Exactly. That is what His Highness has just said. Wow. 30 bags of money is a whole lot of money. Oh, yes. In Igbo land, death is seen as the physical separation of the living from the dead. We believe that death is just a transition into the spirit world which is in a continuous relationship with the physical world but we always ensure that the relationship between the physical and the spiritual world remains cordial for our loved ones when they pass <laughs> is that Lucy? I am a man of this land and I know our traditions. If you knew them, Jidofo, why have you refused to buy the cow for the transition funeral rite of your late father? Why call yourself a man of my land and you still allow the spirit of your buried father to continue hovering around. Ezra Lucy, it is not as if I don't want to do this right. My problem is that I don't have money. But please, I promise that as soon as I sell enough baskets to afford the cow, I will do it. Please. She does for. I came personally to tell you that the spirit of your late father is becoming restless. You need to buy that cow as soon as possible. This is for your own good. Your late father's spirit needs to join his ancestors so as to make ways for you.
Your Highness, I know what my share of that money will do for me. You have my support. 30 bucks of money indeed is a huge sum of money. But then, should we be selling off the one free gift of nature? Chuku Abiyama gave Obunago kingdom. Hmm? Come to think of it, people of Eunugu or Lona have been coming here to fish and we've never asked them to leave. Why should they now want to finally buy off the river and bar us from coming to fish from our own river? <laughs> I don't think the the the, 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 the suggestion is, is, is good. My brother, somehow you are right. But then, 30 bucks of money can do a lot for this kingdom. Yes. You yes. Can say that again. And you have my support on that. Money is indeed powerful. Yes. Now, if not, why would the people of Enugu or Nona summon enough courage? to visit our land and make such an offer. Uh, uh, a good noble. Whether the people of Enugu or Lona wants the, or needs the entire river or part of it, I don't care. Ever since we have that river, what have we gained from it? Apart from the small fishes that we get for soup that is not even enough for our families. Is that what we want as men? This is our opportunity to make good money from our river and we are not going to miss that opportunity we are collecting that money and that is final well i called us because you all occupy different positions of authority in this land i have done my duty by informing you it's up to you to make sure money enters oponago well i will be on my way thank you your highness <laughs> You are indeed sent by the gods. <laughs> Thank you, you for most, the useful information. You are most welcome. We have a king quite right. But I see all of you as stakeholders of this land. Let us do what is right. Money is important. Oh, yes. Ego de <laughs> <laughs> ah, see, I am not going to bother myself with whatever interpretation anybody wants to give to this. As far as I am concerned, this is a huge achievement yes. and I am going to celebrate it, especially with my one and only Ego <laughs> Ibo. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yes. You and women, today is Amaka, tomorrow is Ego Ibo. <laughs> yes. That reminds me, what happens to Ego Ibo's sister that you promised me? I will not allow her. Ah, you are. <laughs> Seriously, you have to do something about it. All right. I am not in support of this. And believe me, this will not end well. What part of it will not end well? Is it the part where our kingdom becomes one of the rich kingdoms around? Or the part that you start to benefit from it all? Ego Dinogu, I am beginning to misunderstand your motives. Where exactly are you headed? Have you tried to overlook the monetary part and give it a thought? Don't you think that Prince Akum would be a fool to give these people the whole river and bar us from coming to fish from our own river? If I come to think of it, Prince Akum is a fool for even suggesting to sell off the whole river. Why are you calling him a fool? Why? Look at me. Since my father died, I have not been able to afford enough money to buy the cow for his final transition right. The other day, Ezalosi visited me and said that my late father's spirit will soon begin to haunt me because of that. That cow can be bought with less than one bag of money of which you and I know that if the people of Enugu Olona pay for that river that we stand the chance to benefit from it at least there is no way I will not get two bags of money from it 
I understand your plight, my friend. But then... Are we going to watch another kingdom take what rightfully belongs to us? Because of money? There is one thing I know. The gods are just. If you don't have money to purchase a cow for your father's funeral rite, they will help you. They will stand by you. Hey, good news. Do you know how many times I have been having sleepless nights because of that cow? If the gods are just, like you said, why didn't they provide the money long time ago? As a matter of fact, why did they even allow my father to die? Listen to me. That business is my only hope. And anyone who stands in my way, I will put him down. He who has a, let him be here. This is not right. This is not right at all. Have you ever heard that a kingdom sold her river? Where? I cannot sit back and watch this happen. An elder does not sit at home and watch a pregnant goat deliver in theater. And who is the elder? You? Please do not provoke me to further arguments. In the Abili ago. Hundred packs of what? Your Highness. That is exactly what they are demanding. Oh. I mean, how? Your Highness, according to the Prince, Akum, Igwe Ibekwe has accepted our request. What is insisting that he cannot give out the river for a mere 50 bags of money. That the river is worth more than the 50 bags. Now, if we want to have a total and unlimited access to the river, we must pay a hundred bags of money. Are they aware? I mean, is he aware that this request is coming from me directly? No, Your Highness, not yet. We decided not to reveal the buyer for us to have a better back in. The gods are very specific this time. Whatever you do, Father, do not take advantage of anyone. Else, it wouldn't be a success. No one must lose for you to gain, Father. No one. Well, Edas, you will do me one favor. You will go back to Obunagun and let them understand that I am not interested in the entire river. In fact, it is inconceivable for anybody to even think a thing like that. Let them understand that I am only interested in a portion of the river, the portion that I intend to secure with giant nets, where I will keep the fishes that I will feed in a special way for them to grow giant for commercial purposes. The people of the land can continue to fish in their water, but outside the secured area, if you are able to go back to them and give them this explanation, I am sure Igwe Beko will realize that 50 bags of money that I have offered is just very good for that request. Your Highness, are you sure this is what you want? I am very sure. In fact, there is no way anybody will ask the people not to fish in, in their river. Asking for such is calling for trouble. I am not a troublemaker. We'll do what you said and get back to you. You tell me, call yourself to order and ask yourself some key questions. Why have you refused to listen to the voice of reason? Voice of reason, you say, Papa. So, marrying Obiekunye is listening to the voice of reason. Marrying him means doing the right thing. And let me ask, if I do not marry him, the sky will fall, right? If I do not marry Obiyeku, will Ume Dili be wiped away from the face of the earth? I am asking you, Papa. Tell me the truth. What is the deal with Obiyeku? Why are you so obsessed with him? 
you are my daughter, Ijama. Whatever I do or ask you to do is for your own good. Listen, let me tell you. One does not know the value of what he has until he loses it. Papa, not in this one. Not in this one. Leave me alone. Not in this one. What have I done to you? Tell me, what did I do to you? I told you that I don't want to marry you. Yet you went and met with my father. On what grounds? To achieve what? Hey, Gemma, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to cause you any trouble. See, I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing by going to your father to... I, I did that because that is the only way I can show you how much I love you. I, I didn't mean to hurt you, please. I am sorry. Forgive me. Don't you I, think it's rather too late? Yes, the harm has been done already. As a matter of fact, you have succeeded in taking away my peace of mind in my own father's house. Now my father thinks that you're the only young man in this village that any woman should get married to. Gemma, seriously, I do not know what to say. You don't need to say anything, Obiekunye. You don't need to say anything. Now let me tell you. Go to my father and call off whatever it is you have in my father. Because I will not and I will never marry you. Even if you don't want to do it for anything. Do it for my peace of mind. Give me back my peace in my father's house. I will not come here and warn you again. If you let me come back here, you will not like what I will do to you. I mean it! If you, if you let me come back here again, you will not like what I will do to you. Are you sure of what you are saying? Your Highness, I'm a nobleman of Obunago Kingdom. I know what it means to lie to a man that bears the caduceus of our ancestors. Really? So if I ask you to swear on the caduceus of our ancestors that my brother is planning to betray his people by selling off their river to another kingdom, you would be able to swear on the caduceus? Your Highness, I swear by the gods. And I speak nothing but the truth. As I speak to you right now, your brother has made a tempting offer to some jobless men of this land. And I believe they may revolt against you. What? Revolt against me? Your Highness, I am sorry to be the bearer of such heart-wrenching news. The young man. Your Highness. What family are you from in this kingdom? I hail from the family of Ibu Amaka in Obiaza village. And who is your father? My father was the great Emenike in Obunago kingdom. Did you say was? Yes. He died last year. I see. I'm so sorry about that. Thank you, Your Highness. Ego Dinogo. Your Highness. Do you remember that personal bodyguard of mine that died during the last famine season? Yes, you mean the one that fell from palm tree in Oboland. We call him the king's right hand man. Exactly. I have not been able to replace him because I have not found any worthy of that position. But now I think I've seen one. Now? Stand up. This is the ancient caduceus of our ancestors. 
all this end and repeat after me. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Just as I have demonstrated before the king. Just as I have demonstrated before the king. I swear by the ancient caduceus of our ancestors. I swear by the ancient caduceus of our ancestors. That I would make the interest of this kingdom a priority at all times. That I will make the interests of this kingdom a priority at all times. I swear. I, I swear. I swear. That on no account will I betray this kingdom and the king. That on no account will I betray this kingdom and the king. Ego Dinogu. My king. You have just proven to be a noble man of this kingdom. A man who stands for nothing other than what is right. And a man like that is no other than the king's right hand man. as if I'm a killer. Consent it's me, please. My princess, if you want me to do anything for you, I can get one of the maidens to do it for you. I was busy when you called. I am of the guided opinion that anything you're doing can wait. My dear Ego Dinogo, why elect for a maiden to do something for me when you are here already? I am hoping you ask for something I can do for you. Um, I want us to discuss. Do you currently have a woman in your life? I have never thought of that. So why then are you pulling back from the woman that appreciates the man in you? Or are you indirectly telling me that you are not man enough? My princess. I can forget all things, but I can never forget that you're my king's jewel. I can surely dream dreams, but I believe that I do not have the mandate to dream of my king's jewel. You are thinking of having a woman, you said. So what is it you want in a woman? Does it mean she wants me? How will I handle her? without offending the king. I know what you're thinking. Do you think I'm a child? Every night I keep imagining how it will feel like to have you test the money you on me. <laughs> I don't know what has gotten into you. But I'm going to pretend that this never happened. I was busy doing something for the king before you sent for me. I can't believe this just happened. Did he just walk out on me? He turned me down and walked out on me. I can't believe that you can be this insensitive. Is this why you called me here to insult me? More like to talk some sense into you. Whether you like it or not, Akum, I am a noble man of this land. And there is nowhere I would have sat back and watched this insensitive action to take place. Do you know you are a disappointment? That a son of a prominent man of this kingdom had decided to choose to become an ordinary dad to the king. That is unheard of. Shame on you. At your age, if you cannot act with your brain, then there is no hope that you ever will. Egodinogu, 
You are a fool! I will deal with you! I'll come, let me break it down for you! I owe you no apologies! So it, it is now, Akum. You now call me by my name. If by now, if not noticed that I've lost respect I have for you, then you are Trying to strike the king's right hand man could cost you a lot, Akum. You are nothing but a mess servant to an unpopular king that is going down. And let me remind you that this money called unpopular bears the caduceus of the ancestors, which makes me legitimate and a powerful king by all standards. You calling him unpopular makes you sound more stupid and insane. Even thinking that you can sell the river that supplies us with the fish we eat makes you the unpopular one. Ego Dinogu, you are a fool. For every word you say here today, I will make you eat. Leave my compound oh, before you begin oh, to oh, eat them. Oh, oh, there is even a scheduled time for me to eat them. You are going to be the one to cook them, I presume. Leave my compound now. I will, I will leave your compound. It's your compound, isn't it? Leave! <laughs> 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 You betraying son of the dark, you brainless bastard, you unfortunate son of a woman. What do you think you are to betray the man that protects this kingdom from external invasion? What is this? And who do you call a betrayer? And why are you blocking my path? Are you pretending that you don't know the reason for our anger? Are you saying that you don't know what is going on here? Now! Are you saying you are not aware or you don't know the meaning of betrayal? No! He's pretending not to know the meaning of deceit. The only thing I see are hoodlums blocking my way. And if you don't leave my way right now, I'll be forced to get very angry. What will you do? <laughs> Mm. Silence is the best answer to a fool. Leave my path now. Pass. Greetings, Father. I bow in greetings, distinguished elder in council. You are welcome, the chosen of the gods. And where is my damsel rushing after? Father, I want to go and see my friends. You want to go and see your friends to make amend, I suppose? I have not seen or heard from them after our last conversation, so I'm off to make amends. Is she not a wise woman? She is. Fine. I am ever grateful, eternally grateful to the gods for giving me a wonderful daughter just like you are. You have come again, Father. <laughs> Wisdom only comes from the gods. Hurry up, my hurry up then. Um, the gods will go with you. Must I repeat this every other time, Father? I have the sacred carry with me everywhere I go. I have no need for gods. Listen, if you share. You might be a powerful woman. In fact, you may possess some spiritual powers and protection by the version of the sacred cowrie. Good and fine. But I'm going to be a fool to leave you to go out there without that mortal physical protection that I need. Just for peace of my own mind. I insist the guards will go with you. The guards! Oh, only, go with her. only on one condition. What is it? That they stay far away from me. No problem, as long as they are there with you. Yes. Go with our guts. Why is it that she is always getting 
whatever she wants from me, even when she's wrong. Yes, because she is a chosen one from the gods. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> I thought she's meeting this young man for the first time today. Exactly my thoughts, but you have a problem with that. No, I don't. But she seems so free with him, like she has known him all her life. By the time you understand that the princess is not just a maiden, but a direct representation of the gods, that will help you to realize that her methods mustn't be the same with other maidens. I think we should end this discussion immediately. <laughs> Why does it appear to me that you brought me out here just to make me laugh so hard? Well, I never <laughs> intended to make you laugh. But I'm happy you found my comments something to laugh about. <laughs> I have never seen a beauty so captivating as yours. <laughs> Noble man of my land, can you please quit the flattery and tell me why you halted me? Nothing serious. I just wanted to introduce myself to you as a common man who is mesmerized by your beauty. <laughs> But now that you've called me noble, I must say, I feel good. <laughs> you sure have your way with words, honestly. But I must confess, you indeed made my day, and I'm happy. Anyway, thanks for making my day. Hope to see you again. Uh, please, wait. <sighs> Well, you see, when a man calls you hot, he's looking at your body. Mm. When he calls you pretty, he's looking at your face. But when a man calls you gorgeous, he's certainly looking at your clothes. <laughs> but when a man calls you beautiful, trust me, he sees everything. My name is Echazana. A child who never forgets his father. My princess, I must confess, your beauty can be compared to that of a goddess. And it is a lucky day for me, I mean, to finally meet a goddess face to face. You are beautiful. Echezona. Yes. Echezona. Well, my princess, I guess you were heading somewhere. I wouldn't want to delay you further. But I just hope um, I might get this chance to talk to you some other time again. Where was I? God. Where was that we were going? My princess, we are going to pay your friend a visit. Oh, I forgot. Thank you. M Ma if the gods permit, we will surely meet again. It's nice meeting you. Be good. I had to warn him. I had to. I understand, my dear. Eh? You know, that man was gradually becoming a thorn in my flesh. You don't understand, my friend. So, what exactly did he say to you? <laughs> to be honest, I did not give him time to defend himself. I walked in there, gave him a piece of my mind, and I stormed out. Hmm. But, how can a man be so desperate? Eh? Is it that there are no other girls in this kingdom? Jono. If the 
number of women in the world is more than that of men, like like they used to say. I mean, why would a man be so fixated on one woman? There are so many fishes in the river. My point exactly. <laughs> See, look up. What is she doing here? Greetings, my friends. Your friends? Greetings, Princess Ifedichi. My friends, for every moment you remain angry, you give up a sizable chunk of your peace of mind. I have come all the way just to apologize. I am sorry. Please, do not push me away. Mm. I guess you're here to grant our request. Holding on to anger is like grasping a piece of hot coal with the intent of throwing it at another. You are the one who will get burnt. So let me guess. You're here to tell us to forget that we ever made any request mm -hmm. and pretend to be friends again. Okwaya? A man cannot eat anger for breakfast and sleep with it at night without suffering damage to his soul. In other words, we don't have right to be angry at you, okay? I never said so. You have every right to be angry. That is why I have come to say I am sorry. Forgive me, my friends. This friendship means a whole lot to me. Please. Mm -hmm. Ife Diche, you should have thought of that before turning down our request. My friends, you seem to forget that I am a servant of the gods. Take a good look at me. Look beyond the regalia you see. And you understand that I do not have a life of my own. I don't. There are certain decisions I cannot take. Please, do not move away from me because of this. It's not worth it. Please. <sighs> It. What? Thank you very much. Does that mean forgiving? It simply means that we are not ready to throw our friendship away. Yes. <laughs> Ijema, just be calm. Very soon, you will understand the reason for all this. You're one lucky woman, you know. If I ask you to explain what you just said... Don't even ask, because you will not understand. Mm, I am not surprised. Ijima, let her be. Okay. Mm, I mean, let bygone be bygone. My friends, always remember that love is better than anger. Hope is better than fear. Optimism is better than despair. So let's be loving, hopeful and optimistic. Then we will rule the world. Ifedice, you know something? My love for you would have died a long time ago if not for your way with words. Exactly. We must develop and maintain the capacity to forgive. For the one who is devoid of the power to forgive is also devoid of the power to love. There is an element of good in the worst of us and some bad in the best of us. Once we understand this, we will be less prone to hating our enemies. Strong words, I must say. Just so you know, you are not my enemy. So take notes. 
Thank you. Now I'm fully forgiven. <laughs> well, <clears throat> we are getting there. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. That reminds me. Ever since I got here, I've been itching to tell you something. Mm. <clears throat> what is it? I met a young man on my way here. He captured every bit of my attention with his choice of words. Who? He did? Yeah. Who? Why are you sounding like a broken drum? You mean one man was able to overpower three able-bodied young men of my life? And you expect me to believe that? Your Highness, this has nothing to do with overpowering us. I'm suspecting that there's something behind it. Your Highness, as we speak, Obiefuna and Jidofo are in critical condition. I am here because I ran for my life. I have never seen anything like that. I can't believe this. Jidadi, did I hear you say you ran? Your Highness, I am not ashamed to say it. Considering the condition I found myself, there was nothing I could do, Your Highness. You had the opportunity to bring down the most foolish man in Okunago. And you are here telling me that you ran. Chidiadi, what kind of a man are you? Tell me, what kind of a man are you? Oh, God, of my land. Your Highness, if you were there, you wouldn't have been able to withstand him. I had to run for my life, Your Highness. Chidiadi, pray! Pray that we find another lasting solution to this soon. If not, if not, do not destroy all I have worked for. Your Highness! Your Highness! Your Highness! Who are you? And what's the meaning of this? Your life is in danger. What? What's the meaning of this? Listen, woman. You can't just walk in here and do what you just did and walk out without a reasonable explanation. This is the palace of Obunago Kingdom. How did you get in here? And who are you? I know you believe in the existence of Mormon Kechuku, the guardian angel. You can call me one. Already know is Ifonye Meta Obulu, the blind eyes that sees even in the dark, the erosion that carries away the altar of peace, the evil egg that broke the stone of unity. I remain the only one that says no when others have said yes. I am not only seeing your brother, but I am equally seeing a young man. 
Hey, for you, Metalo. What is your problem? I am happy that you are saying something. I know solution will come from this altar. What do you want from my altar? If you're a metal. What we are talking about here is war and I need to win. My brother thinks he can control everything in the kingdom. He thinks he can take decisions that are unfavorable to others. He thinks he can deny me of my right to be rich. Ibekwe is beginning to stand on my way. Look at me. Is this how I'm supposed to be? If I am counted among the wealthy men in this kingdom, will our river dry up? I came here because there's something you can do. That is why I ask you what you want from my altar. There is something about the young man your brother recently made his right hand man. From what I can see. You cannot get to the king without passing through that young man. So I suggest you go back and get him off the way. If you metalo. I have tried to put him in his rightful place, but all to no avail. To me, Ego Dinogu is a riffraff. And I have decided to leave him and go straight for the king. Let me break it down for you, Prince Akum. I said, you cannot get to the king without passing through that young man. There is a connection of deep protection and the cord is mighty. And what exactly do you mean? The only option left is for you to go back and get rid of him. Asking him to leave as you've done already can never work out until he is meant to leave are you ready to kill ego dinogu a life that has brought me nothing but frustration i am ready in the bag of a medicine man Wait for me. Chukulum Kambia. Anu Kube, Anu. Anu Kalimuka, Anu. Anu Kube, Anu. Ziko Monye Budi, baby. Anu Wao. Even a man, those that suspended peace from my eyes have no right to be in peace. When I decide to sell anything, nobody can stand on my way. And that is it. Take it. Ah. 
how do we explain this mystery? A clay pot as small as this to be this heavy. The power that will kill that young man must be very heavy. And that is what you have with you. Go home with it and make use of it tonight. So what and what do you want me to do? All you have to do is to look into that pot and call his name three times. Once the power leave to locate him, he must surely die. It must surely kill that fellow. And the clock of that power will return to this spot. I will do it tonight. And I will give you feedback tomorrow. Or unfailingly, the day after tomorrow. And one more thing. Once the power returns and the pot is as heavy as it is, before it departed, it means that the young man did not die. Do not attempt again until you set your eyes on that man face to face. I know the weight I felt when you handed me the pot. That fool that has refused to leave when he was advised cannot stand it. Thanks for everything. I had known that I will always count on you. I dream about one man and the next thing I meet another and literally fall for him at first sight. What exactly is going on with me? Why one man haunts my dreams, the other haunts my reality? Gods of our land, is something wrong with me? How am I supposed to handle this? I mean, sitting right here, I can't help but desperately yearn to see each other again. But then, I'm also curious to find out who the young man who haunts my dream is. What am I supposed to do? I know you believe in the existence of Mom and Kechuku, the guardian angel. Who is the person that can interpret this dream? Haven't I been able to get you off my mind? I don't even know you well enough, yet I'm beginning to fall for you. 
And what kind of a man are you? What man goes straight to the father of a woman he loves to disclose his intentions first before anything? Oh, gods of our land. I want to love. And I want to love with everything in me. That's exactly what I want us to discuss. Why are you disturbed? Isn't it obvious to you that you brought this upon yourself? Papa, be cool. Can we just talk about something else? Mm. Can we change this topic? Listen, Ijama, I am no longer insisting that you marry him. Nobody is insisting that you marry him. But if there is anything I must reiterate, that young man still loves you. I was doing something at the backyard before I came to talk with you. Can I please go back and continue? in my room it took you just one appearance to humble my father is there anything too difficult for you to understand what is the meaning of this is the princess out of her mind are you just going to stand there and pretend you don't know why i'm here come into the bed we have a lot to discuss Your life is in danger. Are you deliberately doing this? It took me time to decide on what I've done this night. Please, don't make me regret it. Come to me. Come with me. <laughs> It all ends tonight. Ego di nogu. Ego di nogu. Ego di nogu. So what exactly are you saying? That I'm not your type? That I'm not woman enough? Far from meet my princess. In fact, you're the most beautiful woman in Okunago Kingdom. It takes a lot of courage and strength to resist you. Then what exactly is the problem? Why are you rejecting me? I am not rejecting you. I am simply resisting what you want me to do. Doing this would not be right. Even if you want to do it. Not this way. I am your father's right hand man. What will he think of me when he finds out I defiled his daughter at his back? You talk as if I'm still a child. My princess, far from it. I'm just echoing what would be your father's thoughts if we should engage in this immoral act. You are the princess of Unago Kingdom and no man should take you for free. My princess, I believe that anything that is what doing is what doing well. Besides, I swore to an oath of the caduces of ancestors never to betray the king. And sleeping with you is the same as betraying the king and is capable of taking my life. Who is this person in trouble?
the wicked will fall into the pit they dug for others. They shall eat their own poisoned food and drink their own poisoned wine. Tears shall replace their laughter. They shall cover their heads in shame for the rest of their lives as all their plans and endeavors will be frustrated. Chuhokike will judge them without mercy. The gods will protect and defend the innocent. Ego Dunugu, I am the one who is attracted to you. I want you. You shouldn't be afraid of anything. My princess, never you undermine the caduceus of the ancestors. anything? Sense what? I felt a chill. You need to retire. You need to retire now. Igudunugu. I am not in the mood for any argument. Let me take you to your chamber. Now. And one more thing. Once the power returns and the pot is as heavy as it is, before it departed, it means that the young man did not die. Do not attempt again until you set your eyes on that man face. As it has pleased the gods to place you under my care. May the gods forbid that I will allow the innocent suffer for what they do not know about. I am certain you came to confirm me if I'm dead. What exactly do you mean? You know exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see, I am not dead. I'm still alive. But let me warn you. Let me give you an advice. Next time you try such again, you see what will happen. How dare you? I. How dare you go to tell of yourself? How dare you? No, no, no. You want to kill me? Alama, this boy your father employed is an animal. Uncle, I'm disappointed you came this early just to fight. Is that all you have to say? You see someone who was on the verge of killing your uncle, and this is what you are saying. I have lived with Ego Dunogu for a long time now, and I can tell that he is not quick to anger. You have to leave now before others will come and see this. I'm sure they must have heard your voice. Leave! May the gods be praised. It's indeed a good day. After every thunderstorm comes the rain. The innocent will always be vindicated. I need you to call one of the guards. I need him to run an errand for me. Yes, my princess. 
Has breakfast been served? Not yet, my princess. In that case, I would love to take charge of that. I am in the mood for exceptional cooking. Your cooking has always been exceptional, my princess. <laughs> I'm flattered. Thank you. Can we go to the kitchen now? <laughs> Obi, it's not that I'm not happy that you came to see me. But the truth, however, is that I am surprised. And I believe you should know why it is so. I know. So, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Um, your grandma, she's not home? Oh, no. She has gone to the women's meeting. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. To what do I owe this visit? See, Obekunye, I'm here to apologize on behalf of my friend. I know she's not been very nice to you. And I am sorry about that. I know how it feels to love and not be loved in return. That's why I'm here to give you a listening ear. And show that the crying. Hmm, wow. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. But seriously, it's nothing. If she had said yes the first day I met her, or rather the first day I approached her, I would have been disappointed. But you know she's seen someone else, right? I know. <laughs> I know. And I know who this someone else is. So why do I get the feeling there is much more to what she just said? Uh, not at all, no. Obi, I'm just a man in love. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Obi, Kuni. Why Ijima? Why are you so bent on having her? I love her so much. I love her so much that I cannot love another woman the way I love her. She's my wife. I know it's not going to be easy. But I'll be patient. Okay. But I wish you did come for me instead. <laughs> Of the Gary. <laughs> Seriously, you amaze me. But uh, it's okay. I'm I'm happy you came. Thank you very much. Um I was about going to check my traps before you came. We have to reschedule for another time. Okay. If you say so, I'll come back some other time to check up on you. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Isn't he here yet? Did he not get my message? Why is he wasting so much time? Oh, God of my land. Has he changed his mind? Maybe he doesn't want to see me again. Obodanyo, 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 Ob
Sorry for keeping you waiting. Um. Oh, you're here. Yes. Truth be told, I was beginning to think you were not going to honor my invitation. An invitation I long for even more than food. <laughs> I mean, why would you say that? I stand to be corrected. Well, my princess, thank you once again for yet another opportunity. I mean, for meeting with you again. <laughs> You're welcome. Please, call me Ifediche. Oh, okay then. Ifediche. Yes. You look extremely gorgeous today. Mm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And I am not just saying this to flatter you. Hey. I mean every word of it. What can I say? Thank you. Once again, you're welcome. <laughs> I brought something for you. Um, yeah. Here we go. And this is the reason I kept you waiting. I was preparing this for you, especially. Oh, for me? I can't believe this. Is it in your nature to be this caring? Well, let's just say, I always try to be the best I can be. I'll take a bite. All right. Mm. You like it? I love it. <laughs> It's my favorite, Nchi. <laughs> Do you always cook this well? I try. Mm, this is really nice. I like it. I'm mm. happy you like it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, gods of our land, you have to save me from this one. Being a good cook myself, I have a theme for a young man who knows how to cook. You really annoyed me the last time. I hope you know. I came here today because of the love I have for you. That is exactly why I've decided to bring this goodness to you. I believe it will cheer you up. What goodness? Relax, my beautiful one. I will tell you. Now you're keeping me in suspense. I've started making preparations. Preparations for what? Do you really going to ask to know? <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. Obi, are you sure? Somebody who has started making preparations should be sure. Okay. So when are you coming to see my parents? Are we going to discuss this the whole day? Or come and show me some love? Show a man who is about to pay your bride price some love. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You see, with this, I will go to the ends of the earth with you. Wow! <laughs> because <sighs> wait. Come with me. <laughs> I 
I am so excited. I am so, so happy. I am more than happy for you, my dear. Ah, Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You know, I just can't believe that this is finally happening. Ah. I, I still cannot believe it too. You know, I thought he was never going to make the move. Yeah, same here. <laughs> so when did he say he'll be coming with his people to see your parents? Mm. He didn't really say. He didn't really say? Yes. Hey, but, but I saw the sincerity and the readiness written all over him. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. If he did she. Oh, Gini. Biko, 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 please do not kill my excited spirit. Of course I will not. I'm not a killjoy, am I? No. Anyway, I pray that the gods will always be with you. Mm -hmm. That is better. And what do we say to that prayer? He <laughs> said... I ask you again. When is this young man coming? Papa, he didn't say. But he said they are coming. Hmm. And um, why, why do I have this strange feeling that something is wrong? Papa, this is one thing I don't like about you. You're always reading meanings into everything. It is my duty to give you this fatherly direction. Why haven't I set eyes on this young man who wants to marry my daughter? Oh, is there a law that says that he must come with his people before he sees me? Papa, I don't know why you're asking me this, but... Are you thinking he will not come? There is a popular saying among our people. Do not marry a man unless you will be proud to have a son who looks exactly like him. Papa. But just what do you mean by that? Or is this about Obi Ekuni? On the contrary. Listen, Ijemma. All those while you've been sneaking out to see this man. I knew. <laughs> but I decided to keep quiet because I knew full well that no matter how hard I tried, that I can never stop the inevitable. But one thing is certain. You see that young man? You will never be proud to have a son who is exactly like him. What do you mean you cannot come with me? I'm simply saying that it is too early. Too early? You have been with me for years and you still think it is too early to see my father. I believe if anything is worth doing, it is worth doing well. If I must meet your father, it should be with my people. Is there a law that forbids you from seeing my father alone for the first time? Ijema, I have told you, I am not going to see your father. I am your husband to be and that is enough. Why are you arguing with me? I'm gonna be wait. Okay, I am sorry. Because they're no way. Obi Kuni, this is not the end of the world. You will always find someone better. So what if she's getting married? You're missing Ruby still out there. How sure are you? What if I have lost her forever? No. No, my dear. Never say never. There is always a chance to love again. You don't get it. No, you don't. I don't think I can love any other woman in this Umedele kingdom the way I love my Ijema. That's exactly how you feel right now. Eventually you will get over this and move on. I know you will. Oh, but you will not. You will not understand. I do. You don't. I do. That's why I'm, I'm here for you. Okay? Oh. 
over there. Please, I I really appreciate that you're here, but I just want to be left alone. I need to be left alone, please. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, uh, I'll come back again and check up on you. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be fine. Thank you for coming. Okay. And thank you for your concern, please. <laughs> Let us even assume she has left you. Is that the end of the world? Is Umedele now devoid of beautiful maidens that you cannot immediately find yourself another? Obiekunye, you have not touched your food. In fact, throughout today you have not eaten. And all because of a woman that is not even as beautiful as I was when I was her age. No. no, it's not all about beauty. Then what is it about? This is the third meal I've made for you today and you have rejected. Obiekune, I am too old for all this. The last time I begged the man to eat my food was years ago, long before the king of this land was born. Obiekune, my son, please don't make me do this. <laughs> what? Obiekunye. Obiekunye. Obiekunye, we are. What has this girl done to my son? Please, do not get married to him. Because you'll be making the greatest mistake of your life. Please, don't marry a movie. <laughs> Are you insane? Is something wrong with you? How dare you walk into my compound and tell me not to marry the man I love? Don't you ever accept defeat? No, listen to me. It is high time you accepted the fact that Amobi has defeated you in this game of love. Get that! I, 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 Ijama, I swear on my life, you do not know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, please! Don't give me that. I know exactly what I am doing. I am getting married to the love of my life. <laughs> Unfortunately, Ijema, you do not know the love of your life. Yes, Amobi is not who you think he is. He's not. He's not. And what do you mean by that? And who made you a judge over the man I call mine? The, 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 see, that's my point. That is my point. You call him your man. He has been taking advantage of that. Hey, 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 enough! Enough! Hold it right there. Obiekunye, you dare come into my compound and say jealousy reading words about my man. Let me warn you. Do not ever come back here again. Now get lost and don't you ever come back here. Fediche, you must listen to me. That young man needs you. Mother, you have said that already. 
Which young man do you speak of? Make me understand, please. If you fail to help him, he will not get help from anywhere. But I need to understand you, mother. Wait on. Mother, wait. What young man? The God will give you wisdom. And the second story will guide you. Mother! Mother, listen, come to me, please. Is this the same man? So, so why is my mother now involved? I am bothered the more. Wanyi Miri, I am bothered. For my mother to finally get involved in this means I must do something about it. But you are doing something, my child. Nobody will hold anything against you. Wanyi Miri, I submit to your authority. And I say, you cannot submit to my authority. For you are the daughter of the gods. I am the daughter of the gods, yes. But I am confused. I am confused and that is why I am here. Who is this man that the gods want me to save? Why is my mother involved in this? Why do they want me to save him? Still, I do not know where to find him. I understand your plight, my daughter. It has something to do with the gods. The idea thing is to leave the gods to conclude what they started. Even I, Wani Muri, cannot explain the mind of the gods. We mortals can never be able to understand the reason why the gods do what they do. If only I can get answers to why he always haunts my dreams. It will help me a lot. My daughter, try and recollect all your dreams. Is it totally correct for the daughter of the gods to say that he has been the one haunting her dreams? I do not know the answer to that question. She appears in my dream. I do not know if she's the one haunting me or if I've been the one haunting her. But the truth is that I need to be guided. And that is why I'm here. We all need to be guided. We are mortals. We do better when we listen to the gods. They are saying something to you. The gods are saying something to you. And my advice is listen carefully and be patient. For the gods will eventually make everything work perfectly well for you. But how exactly do I get to know when the gods begin to make things work perfectly for me? And how do I understand what they are saying to me? And how do I get to know what exactly they want from me? We mortals are programmed to work with time. But the gods manifest their agenda in seasons. I understand what you mean by the gods manifesting in seasons. But I can't help but wonder. Who exactly is this man? Is he real? Or just a figure in my dreams? It boils down to the same thing. When the season comes, the gods will make everything clean. You will agree with me when I say that this has been a long ministration. But I will end it with one important declaration. She is who she told you she is. 
your guardian angel. What exactly is going on? It feels more like the gods are playing a game with me. How am I supposed to handle all this? If it's not my mother's suitors haunting my dreams, it's Echezonanna haunting my sanity. I cannot explain my attraction to him. Yet, there seems to be something about him. I was told this is your favorite spot in the kingdom. Who told you that? Well, let's just say I have my sources. Don't tell me you detailed spies to monitor me. <laughs> no, no, no. Not at all, my princess. It's just that, you see, I have you in mind always. You have come again. I'm flattered. Well, the gods bear me witness that I am not just saying these things to flatter you. I mean every word of it. Meanwhile, if I may ask, what has gotten the most beautiful woman in Umedili Kingdom? in such a depressed mood. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. No. You know I cannot help but worry. But Princess, I worry about you a lot. Honestly, I... I don't know what to say. I'm alright. Well, you don't have to say a thing. My princess, I really care about you. Well, well, let's see if what I brought for you today can cheer you up. You brought something for me? Just wait. <laughs> Greetings, father. Greetings, my dear. I am aware you have not been in this palace this morning. Where have you been? Nowhere in particular, just visiting friends. I see. Are they friends that I know? Yes, father. My friends, you know. Ifedisha. Who is he? He? Who do you speak of, father? Ifedisha. I am not just your father. I am the king of this land and I know you well enough to know that even as we speak, there is a man on your mind. Who is he? Uh, father, I, I, I... Have you seen yourself lately? There is this look that can only be seen in a woman. When there is a man making her heart throb, who is the man? Father, there is no man. Um, if it is here, bring him to me. What? Father, but I, I have not been with him long enough. Uh, but you have been with him long enough to always think about him. To the extent you are practically restless without him, I want you to bring him to me. I think this color will go with this one. What do you think? Mm -mm. No, no. I think this one. Okay. I think so too. Oh. If you did it, what do you think? These two can go well. If you did What is it? 
Again? Uh, nothing. My father wants to meet him. Him? Who? The young man I've been seeing for quite some time now. <laughs> You've been seeing a man? Yes. Remember the young man she told us about? The one she met on her way to your house. The one that mesmerizes her with words. Oh, 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 yes, 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 yes. Ah! Don't tell me that. Yes. I'm sorry I've not told you. I've just had a lot on my head lately. I'm sorry. I understand, my friend. With that kind of a man around you, you should have a lot on your mind. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but... How did the king find out? He's the king. Have you forgotten? He is gifted in his own way. Well, I suggest you, you tell him about it first. You never can tell. <laughs> if he asks me, I don't think that discussion will go well. Mm, Ijima, not all men are like your Amobi. Well, princess, I suggest you you tell him about it first. You never can tell. He might just agree. I'm still thinking about it. Please, can we do less of me? We have marriage to plan. Sincerely, Your Majesty, I am short of words. Why? I've been wondering why you asked her to do that. Why? Are you confused? Don't you think the time is ripe for us to become serious with this? I am a king. And I am not caught out for child's play. Are you not tired of sneaking around with my daughter? I want to end it all. Listen, you are going to come to the palace as my daughter's suitor. And then we can take it up from there. Or are you confirming to me you are no longer interested in my daughter? Your Majesty, I must confess. I have come to love your daughter. Case is closed. See you in the palace. Yes, My son, you're welcome. You seem so surprised to see her. Yes, she came looking for you and I asked her to wait. <laughs> Obekune, I hope you're not angry with me. Um, just being a consent friend, that's all. Yes. Can I talk to you for a minute? <sighs> no. My son. I want to see her for a minute. Go and speak with him. Come back anytime. I knew you would get over her. What is what is it? What is going on? What? What is going on with you? Obekuni, I can't still understand what you're talking Fine, about. Fine, let me use the language you understand. The other day you brought me food. Today you came visiting, even when you heard that I was not at home. You stayed back. What, were you, what are you trying to achieve? When you know my heart belongs to someone else. But she's getting married. Soon she will belong to another, and not you. Obekuni, what is it that you see in Ijema that you can't see in me? Am I not a maiden just like her? Fine, you are a maiden. 
Yes, you are a maiden, but not for me. Even if I want to move away from it, Emma, certainly I cannot consider her best friend as her replacement. I have lived with a woman all my life. I respect women a lot. But I'm just her friend. I'm not her sister. So? So you're ready to lose your best friend just because of a man? No, answer me. Say it. I, I, I thought so. See, Obiekune, um, I'm going back to see why I'm like I promised her. Uh, I don't know. Obodanyo. 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 Oh, 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 oh. The son of Ogudeni who the great warrior. Oh. May his soul continue to rest in peace. I am so pleased. So pleased that you have grown into such a promising young man of my kingdom. All thanks to the gods, your majesty. So, what are your plans towards my beautiful daughter? I am sure you will agree with me that she is indeed the most beautiful young woman you have in this kingdom. Or are you going to disagree with me on that? So what are you going to say? Well, I totally agree with you on that, Your Majesty. She is indeed the most beautiful woman in this kingdom. <laughs> and Your Majesty, that is another reason why I'm here. I want to take this relationship of ours to a whole new level. That is with your permission, Your Majesty. Of course. The son of Ogudinihu, our great warrior. You have my permission, of course. <laughs> so, my love, what do you think? Ifedisha! Your Majesty, I don't understand. Is there something I did not say correctly? Here right now, you said everything correctly, but I am not sure what you have been saying before now. What kind of nightmare is this? The men of Edun Golana were here yesterday to make the offer again. But my brother bluntly refused as usual. So I have a plan. If you are with me on this, if you are prepared to fight for what is rightfully yours, if you are prepared to earn a bright future, then swear to an oath that you all will stick with me in this fight until the end. And that you will not be a betrayer like Ego Dinogu, the fool. Is that all? Yes. So how exactly do we begin? <coughs> Your Highness, 
please permit me to ask a question. What exactly is this plan of yours? Tidiati, why are you such a coward? Why can't you for once in your life be a man? The next time you interrupt me, you will give my correction. Enough! Um, Your Highness, I'm sorry. I'm only seeking clarification. Please! Um, like Your Highness said, if anybody wants to back out, he should then do that now. If not, let's go into more important activities. Exactly! You want to know my plan? Then swear first. Okay then. I swear to stick to this group and to fight to the end. I swear to stick to this group and to fight to the end. I... I... I'm sorry, my people. I cannot do this. I cannot. Can go, go, coward. That is what you are. Let's get down to business. Your Highness, you are in your compound, and from what you told me, your wife and daughter travel to your in-laws' village. Who could possibly be eavesdropping? Have you forgotten I have servants? Come, both of you. Let me tell you my plan. Ah! Where is the king? The king is sleeping. Is there any problem? for me. Please sit. Did you dismiss the guard at the gate as instructed? Yes, Your Highness, I did. I do not want anybody to hear what I am about to tell you. Your Highness, is everything all right? I had a terrible dream last night. And ever since, I have had this feeling of unease. I feel something is going to go wrong. Your Highness, please, tell me, what is the dream all about? We can find a solution to any problem. That won't be necessary, my son. Take this.
This is the authority that makes one a king. Why are you giving it to me, Your Highness? I sense a terrible conspiracy against me. Give it to me if I wake up in the morning. But if I fail to wake up, Hold on to it until the gods select another king. Never allow my brother come anywhere close to it. He is evil and he does not deserve to be a king. Listen, my son. If I fail to wake up tomorrow morning, there are two things that I value most in my life and you must protect them my daughter and this ancient caduceus of the ancestors. It is capable of protecting you when you are in danger. Take them both and flee. The gods will bring you back when it is time to hand over the caduceus. Where is it? You bastard! You think you're wise? You think you're wise? You think you can manipulate me? Even in death? It's just a matter of time. And I will find it. here I heard him scream and I rushed him I saw him struggling I don't understand you you don't live close to the king how did you get into the king's inner chamber what do you mean what exactly are you insinuating are you saying I killed my own brother I don't killed he <laughs> what Where is it? Where is what? And what's going on here? The cadences of the ancestors. You are the fool that became his bodyguard. This is the climax. The night of death. Tell me where he kept it! Or you are gone with him! Where are we going to? No, I must get my stuff! Brave warriors of Okunago, as we can see, it is obvious that the princess and her lover, Ego Dinogu, murdered the king and absconded with the caduceus of the ancestors. 
You must find them. Dead or alive. <laughs> Voices. What? Huh? See, my princess, we are not out of Onago yet. You know the kind of uncle you have. He will come after us and kill us. We have to move now. Come, 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 come. Follow me this way. to question the gods. I will question them. I will. How could there be this crew? Do you know what? My uncle will decline self king. I thought you will be done about it. If any man, Obodanyo, Aruwa, Obodanyo, what the Kiribara can you see? He's here. Okay, your highness. My princess, you sent for me. Are you all right? I couldn't sleep last night.
what's in here? Please, make love to me. You don't have to be embarrassed. The feeling is mutual. Gods of my forefathers, I can't believe this. I mean, I can't believe I just said that to a man I'm not married to. Then marry me. What? I, I, I can't believe that I'm saying this to a princess. But then, I mean it. Ifediche, I've never been smitten by a woman in my life. I am from a respectable family in Unago Kingdom. Trust me, I am going to take good care of you. Then you must return to your kingdom as soon as possible and deliver the truth. A relationship between Okbunago and Umedili will be a good foundation for our union. My love. Do not be scared, for I saw you with the courtesies of the ancestors. Sometimes I wonder how you see things. But then, I remember you the bearer of <coughs> the sacred cowrie. Your king gave you the cadosis because he was moved by the gods. They wanted us to be together. The stray arrow killed the princess of your land to take her out. For us to be together and fulfill the will of the gods in your land. You have to go. You have to go now to your kingdom. The Cadoses will protect you. I am shocked by the revelation you just made. The gods manifest themselves in seasons. I know. My priest once said that to me. Before now, I told you to do something to me. Please do it to me. Please. I, I, in, in as much as I am uncontrollably attracted to you, I cannot make love to you. You are a woman I have come to respect. With the help of the gods, we will stay chaste until our marriage rite is completed. You, you are indeed a noble man. Very different from others. You are a gift from the gods to me. My guiding angel. Papa, you have started again. You have started again. Ijema, where is he? Where is he? A man promised to come and see your father. Several market days have passed and he is yet to come. What kind of a man is he? Eh? Papa, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. Give me some breathing space in this house. Ijema, have you heard of women who ended up in their father's houses? That will definitely be your fate. <laughs> father! Are you placing a curse on me? Truth, they say, is bitter. He is you could eat with me. Please, come on, please. Come on, please. I beg you, I beg you. 
It's not what you think, you just have to listen to me. Ijema! What nonsense is this? What is she doing here? Do you think it's another maiden's day? Start explaining immediately. Who is that maiden? And what was the rubbish we're saying about today being for another maiden? Are you this useless? And I gave you my body. Just count the number of questions you have asked me. How can I answer all? When you know I was yet to reach the climax before I was rudely interrupted. And what exactly are you saying? That you're not going to answer my questions? Who is that maiden? I'm calling my beautiful maiden of Obendida. Calm down. Let's go in and finish what we have started. Immediately after that, I will give you the answers. Nkoli! 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 Ah, Ijem. Mba, Mba. Not today. Biko. I am not in the mood for your rubbish. Ijem, why are you like this? You know you're the only woman that has the key to unlock my heart. Why am what? I like how? And how has that become your business? Hmm? Who is the woman that has the key to unlock it? I have warned you. Stay away from me. Leave me alone. I have warned you before to stay away from me. Ijem. You know I love you so much. Why are you like this? Please talk to me. Ijem, I love you with all my heart. You're the only woman that can slap me and walk away like this. <laughs> it's okay. I wish you all the best. I love you. I done to you? Tell me, what did I do to you? I told you that I don't want to marry you. Yet you went and met with my father. On what grounds? To achieve what? Hijama, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean to cause you any trouble. See, I, I, I thought I was doing the right thing by going to your father to... I, I did that because that is the only way I can show you how much I love you. I, I didn't mean to hurt you, please. I am sorry. Forgive me. Don't you I, think it's rather too late? Yes. The harm has been done already. As a matter of fact, you have succeeded in taking away my peace of mind in my own father's house. Now my father thinks that you're the only young man in this village that any woman should get married to. Ijema, seriously, I do not know what to say. You don't need to say anything, Obiekunye. You don't need to say anything. Now let me tell you. Go to my father and call off whatever it is you have in my father. Because I will not and I will never marry you. Even if you don't want to do it for anything. Do it for my peace of mind. Give me back my peace in my father's house. I will not come here and warn you again. If you let me come back here, you will not like what I will do to you. I mean it. If you, if you let me come back here again, you will not like what I will do to you. Do not get married. 
Because you'll be making the greatest mistake of your life. Please, don't marry Amobi. <laughs> Are you insane? Is something wrong with you? How dare you walk into my compound and tell me not to marry the man I love? Don't you ever accept defeat? No, listen to me. It is high time you accepted the fact that Amobi has defeated you in this game of love. Get that! I, 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 uh... Ijama, I swear on my life, you do not know what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, please! Don't give me that. I know exactly what I am doing. I am getting married to the love of my life. <gasps> Unfortunately, Ijama, you do not know the love of your life. Yes! Amobi is not who you think he is. He's not. He's not. And what do you mean by that? And who made you a judge over the man I call mine? The, 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 see, that's my point. That is my point. You call him your man. He has been taking advantage of that. Enough! Enough! enough. enough. Hold it right there. Obiekunye, you dare come into my compound and say jealousy reading words about my man. Let me warn you. Do not ever come back here again. Now get lost and don't you ever come back here. Right enough. You need some water. You should have just gone your way. Why did you stop to give me water? That is what love is all about. <laughs> Unconditional. Bears no grudges. We all make mistakes in life. And maturity entails that we see mistakes as mistakes. Thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Let the tears drop. I am here to comfort you. You are a good man. I do not deserve you. I'm a man who knows what he wants. You are the woman I want. And you will still remain the woman I want. Sometimes, 
a disappointment is a blessing. But this is something you must know, my dear friend. Everything you need must come to you at the perfect time. All you have to do is just be patient and wait for it. Okay? There is a saying, give but don't allow yourself to be used. Love but don't allow your heart to be abused. Trust, but don't be naive. Listen, but don't lose your voice. <sighs> I think we've all learned our lessons. I learned mine the hard way. But then, there's something I learned about love. Love is unconditional and it bears no grudges. Okay, I'm okay. now you're beginning to confuse me. <laughs> There's something Obiekunye did that got me so amazed. What exactly did he do? I'll tell you. While I was crying after my heartbreaking discovery, Obiekunye came. He didn't just pass by, he came to me, offered me water, not only water, he offered me his shoulders to cry on. <laughs> that single act of his melted my heart. And thinking of it, I should have seen a sign on a movie. It wasn't your fault. I guess you were carried away by the idea of getting married to your first love. That young man really loves you. Speaking about love, I think I found one. Hey, wait, wait, <laughs> let me guess. Um, the gentleman with his sweet tongue? No. Who then? Tell us. His name is Ego Dinogo. A gentle young man from Obunago Kingdom. Obunago. Yes, Obunago. So, how about the other man? What I felt for him was never as strong as this. I was merely intrigued by his looks. Ego Dinogo is something else. A young gentleman that my mother once introduced to me in my dream as my husband. Yes, you told me something like that. Your mother joined you to a young man in your dream. But then, <laughs> would you rather say that your love for him stems from the fact that he's been introduced to you in your dream as your husband? Not at all. This isn't the case, I assure you. I see. When you know, you know. Mm -hmm. Speaking from experience. I perfectly understand you, my dear. You see, Obie Kunye has been nothing but a pillar of strength to me ever since Amobi broke my heart. Well, I thank the gods for everything that has happened. I believe lunch is served. Oh. Let's go and eat. Oh. <laughs> Hey, stop there! You're coming with us willingly on your own, or we're taking you back dead. The choice is yours. I am the bearer of the caduceus of the ancestors. It would be wise of you not to lay your hands on me, because you know the meaning of that. Back off! Back off! 
Now listen. Akum! It's not who you think he is. I never killed the king. He did. The princess caught him red-handed. But she's no more now. All this started when the men from Enugualona came to request that we should give them the portion of our river for 50 bucks of money. But our king refused because he was an honorable man. But Akum needed this money so badly that he murdered the king so he can have his way. Right now, I am going to Ezalusi to deliver this news. What? What has come over you, Did you you ran into a Godinogu, the same cool that ruined everything. And he told you what? Why in this world will you listen to that fool? You are a fool to ask me that question. In fact, you are a son of a cow to think that you will manipulate every Hey! What is the meaning of this? What? Oh, you still have mouth to talk, you greedy bastard. What, what were you thinking in the first place? That. We will never find out about the 20 extra bags of money that you were going to keep for yourself. You are indeed an unworthy son of this land! I came to you because I know you're the only one who can stop him. He has to be stopped before he kills more people to achieve his goal. You are indeed a noble man of this land. May the gods bless you. So indeed, this is a conspiracy against me. You evil man, you brought him back to come and destroy me. You are a fool to think you can manipulate the gods. The gods are wise. Indeed, the gods are wise. Long live your highness. All that happened. They were not mere coincidences. The gods moved ahead of us to pick a young man of this land and make him king. You had that king. In my capacity as the chief priest of this land, I name you the new king of Abonago. My daughter Wakego died so many years ago during childbirth. As at the time we discovered she was pregnant, we tried informing the man responsible for her pregnancy, but some members of his family found out and threatened that they would kill the child if we let him know. Knowing that they are the most powerful family in this land, we had no choice but to keep Eze Olanyelu's son away from him. What? Yes. And where is the child now? I will bring him myself. I can't believe this. I seriously can't believe this. Why didn't they inform me when I have become the king of Umedulu Kingdom? Why? 
Your Highness. I guess they still have fear for the life of the boy. So, when am I going to set my eyes on my son? Your Highness, I trust the woman. She said she will bring the boy by herself. Why must I be sentenced to that kind of long wait? Why can't I just go and meet my boy? Why? Your Highness, patience. Give the woman some time to break the news to the man first. My son, I am sorry we kept this from you all these years. No harm intended. We had to protect your life. Your Highness. You do not have to call me that. I suddenly became royalty. But no. I'm still the Obi Ekunye that have loved you all my life. How are you? I am fine. The world is indeed a small place. How did you say that? I had always wondered why they should name you Obiekunye. And I know some people who has and I know some people who had castigated your family for giving you a name meant for royalty. Little did we know that you are the prince of our land. Indeed, it is a small place. Yes, it is a small world. But we can make it big. I mean you. And I. What do you mean? I don't understand. Completely. I propose on my honor. Do I have your permission now? I do not deserve you. We equally do not deserve the life Chukokike has given to us. Yet, he toilets us. <laughs> Ijema, say yes and make me the happiest man in the land. and respect you all the days of my life.
Ndi ba kwezi ono. We are here today for something big. I can actually say something bigger than all of us. It is a process. A complicated process started by the gods. Not just the gods of a kingdom, but gods of three different kingdoms. For the singular purpose of healing some old wounds. And then creating an opportunity for men of integrity to rise as leaders of different kingdoms. If it is my daughter, please step forward. I never wanted you to marry a man from another land. For in my ignorance, I referred to them as strangers. Finally, the gods have proved me wrong. The gods of this land, even before you were born, retrieved the sacred coyote from the boss of the gods. They gave it to you. You came into existence with the sacred coyote, and that is for a purpose. For you to locate a man of the gods who has finally become the king of Obunago people by an act of the gods. <laughs> Please step forward. We are finally in a new era. And that is the era where the sacred cowrie has been retrieved from you as the messenger of the gods as the bearer of the sacred cowrie and the sacred cowrie is back in the boss of the gods and another phase is where the princess of Umedele kingdom has finally become the queen of Obunago people <laughs> standing on the authority of the gods standing on the stone of our fathers Standing on the caduces of your ancestors, I hereby declare both of you, man and wife. Your union will bring blessings. It will bring blessing not just to our lands, but to all the lands around us. He said, You shall be blessed on the market day. He said, You shall be blessed on the market day. He said, You shall be blessed on our market day. He said, And you shall be blessed on the market day. He said, And so shall it be. He said, You may write. <laughs> I'm 